my partner Eli and I own a vending machine company called Vending Over Backwards. Um, I'm here just to give people some advice. If you're wanting to start your own vending machine business, um, there wasn't a lot out there when we started. So I just want to pass down the knowledge because again, it's not really that common of knowledge. And I'm going to honestly tell you the truth that it's easy, but not that easy and just give you some advice. Um, first of all, we own 10 vending machines and we purchased them for $11,500 right that's extremely cheap um, how we did that is we found an ad on Facebook marketplace and the lady was moving to Florida we live in North Carolina for reference and she just needed to sell them quickly she could not take them to Florida they are the Sega combo machines combo means that they have snacks on the top and drinks on the bottom and typically they do retail for about four thousand dollars on the Sega website so at 11,500 for 10 was a fantastic deal. The reason that it was a fantastic deal is because these machines were already placed in their locations, which means that we did not have to find a location for any of these. The business was turnkey ready to go. And we were just ready to start making passive income as soon as possible. Um, we run a full-time eBay business and with two people, that's a pretty big job and there is definitely room for growth, but we just wanted to make our money work for us. And a vending machine business is a really great way to do that. You do have the initial cost, but essentially after that, you just refill it every couple weeks or as needed and that money just rolls in. Now, I will say that we were a little naive in the beginning to think that it was an extremely passive way to make money because it's definitely more work than most people lead on. There's a lot that can come up with it and you just have to know how to deal with these issues and roll with it and then it's not that bad. But they're not as passive as you would think. You have to maintain them, you have to keep up with them, or you're gonna make your customers really angry if your machine constantly says out of order. So it's not the easiest passive income, but it's a really great one that has a lot of room to make you a lot of money. Um, the first thing I do wanna get into is the different ways to acquire a machine. Like I said, we found our route for sale on Facebook Marketplace. You could also try Craigslist, or there are Facebook groups specifically for vending machines where people sell their route all the time. Um, and of course you could go straight to the manufacturer website. Um, again, ours is Sega. So you could just go to sega.com, buy a machine, they'll ship it right to you. Um, the great thing about doing that is that you probably will have a warranty. So if anything goes wrong, then they can fix it for free. Um, you also would have the top of the And the newest machine. technology. I will say I don't know that for a fact for every company, but typically those are the perks of buying them new. Um, the perks of buying them from someone else, again, is the route is already in place. You don't have to find a location and um, they're usually a lot cheaper than buying them retail, but you don't typically have a warranty. You don't have any help if something goes and wrong. And that's honestly where we had some of our first issues in our business was when something went wrong, we had no idea how to fix it. And truthfully, there's not a lot of mechanics that can fix you know, the machine that we have, which is a Sega. Um, the one great thing about Sega is that even though, you know, our machines aren't new, I think it's about $200, like 180, I might say. You can spend For that whole year, time. you can call their helpline and their people on the, on the phone, I guess they're sort of like mechanics or, you know, whatever, will help you fix your machine. They'll do step-by-step. -step. I think they'll do video chat. So it's, a good resource to have, um, especially your first year with these machines, to have that help to call someone because sometimes it's just a simple issue and you can fix it no problem. So instead of having a mechanic drive all the way out and charge you to just to say, just press this button, it'll be fine. You just get to call the person on the phone and they'll walk you through it. Um, we did not invest in that technology because we ended up just again, figuring it out ourselves before we knew about it but I think we probably would if we did this again with a different- With all that being said, we really love our vending machine route. It is a lot of work, but we do enjoy the extra money. Um, 
I would say roughly 1500 extra a month and I visit our machines um, twice a month. There is one machine in particular. It is our best, our best one on the route. It's a apartment complex that has access to the machine 24 seven. That one I have to do almost every week because it sells out so often. So if you can find an apartment complex in your area, that's probably gonna be one of your best locations hands down. Um, like I said before, I have so much more information to share with you guys, but I'm going to end today's video with that. And please comment below if you have a question that you want answered. I can answer it and also do a whole video on it. And make sure to subscribe to get notifications for the rest of my videos. Thank you so much.